Hey there, Gemini. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message. So take what fits your situation and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, you don't even know anybody going through this. Just try a different message, okay? We're going to pull from the Light Seer's Tarot. Let's jump right in. For Gemini, please and thank you, Spirit. What do we got for Gemini today, please? Seven of Pentacles. I really thought that was the Four of Swords, which looks nothing like the Seven of Pentacles, so I don't know why I thought I saw that. Um, interesting. Seven of Pentacles is talking about what it is you're investing your time, your energy, your finances, even your beliefs, right? This is also taking care of the things that you're already trying to grow and build and expand on the relationships you nurture you pour yourself into yeah exactly knight of cups that genuine loving compassionate even romantic you know when appropriate in appropriate situations but um it's like you have this sense of freedom, but you're choosing to be here because this is genuinely where you want to be. This is a gentleman. This is the gentleman card here. Male or female, doesn't matter, but somebody has that respectful energy. This is somebody that is going to ask for permission before doing something, not just assume it's an okay thing to do. This is definitely not somebody that, well, in the reverse, it could be that playboy energy, right? That playgirl energy. Where they just play too darn much and it's dangerous and people get hurt. You know what I mean? But it's not. It's in the upright. So this is genuine. They have this freedom, but it's like they choose it. See, this is the difference between somebody that wants to be with you versus somebody that needs to be with you. This is what real love is made of. This is what real genuine connections and investments are made of. This is solid stuff. This creates four of wands, not towers. Having a stable foundation where things can be built upon that last versus towers, which were never really built on a solid foundation. They were always gonna crumble eventually, right? Maybe that's why I thought it was the four of, four of wands. What else do we have for Gemini? For some of you, this is a Pisces or possibly a, what is that, Taurus energy coming towards you. Or that you are investing in, right? This could be you. With the utmost respect is what I just heard from the night staring right at it it's such a beautiful energy it's refreshing the world needs people like this you know this is the man that understands the sidewalk rules and opens the door for her and yeah or again if it's a female right like you just have that genuine respect for people two of wands Eight of Swords. Why does that card keep coming out? Nine of Wands. Oh. Oh. Yep, Page of Swords. Some of you guys are going to find out. Or maybe you need to talk to your person. It just depends on which side you are. I don't always know which person it is that's watching the reading. You know what I mean? But um, somebody's feeling some type of way. Like maybe they don't deserve all of this. And they absolutely do. They've been through it. They've been through it and... Real love scares them. It's not something they're used to. Like, I, I cannot explain to you how they've been through it. Like, there were a lot of people that were supposed to play important roles in this person's life, and they really just disappointed. And there were, like, life-altering 
disappointments here that were out of their hands. I'm really getting childhood. I think it's because the two is such a, the smaller numbers, right? But this person's got big plans and they do deserve this and they know that. It's just, it's different. Two of Wands is where you've got to choose. Are you going left or are you going right? Are we doing the same old bullshit that you're so used to that it's comfortable now and you don't even really notice how bad it is until it's bad? Or are we going to try something new that's scary and triggering because, like, it's going to bring up a lot of things? You're going to realize just how much they didn't care, even though you wanted to believe that they did. Now you're going to realize, wow. If they were in that position and this person could do that for me, why couldn't they? They really didn't want to, did they? That's really who they were. And I was in the, and it fucks with your head. So whoever's going through that, please be open to talking to your partner. Or if I'm speaking to the other person, please be aware that your partner needs you right now. Um, they're going through some things. This is what happens when you... When you come into someone's life and you truly give them something they've never had before and loving them through it, that's the true definition of out here saving a life or changing lives. I mean, if that's not some kind of angelic work, then I don't fucking know what is Gemini. I don't even, I, I haven't even started the bottom row of this. Yeah, yeah, you. I could feel that, but we're overcoming that. Exactly, exactly. This person's got PTSD. That's what it is. But they're releasing that through this, this, it's like you're the light in their life. You are helping them. You are guiding them. You are giving them something they've never had before. And it really is a game fucking changer. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting that Evanescent song, Wake Me Up Inside. Especially when I've got the Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck, the Nightmare card, looking at that. And then it's like waking you up, waking up from a nightmare. Exactly. Because there are bigger, better things out there. This person is absolutely worth it and deserving of it. And they do know it. It's meant to be. It's written in the damn stars, man. Go dissect your birth charts. I don't know how to do that stuff. That is way above my pay grade. I will never claim to be an astrologist, okay? I know a couple of things, but I know just a couple of things. Um... There is something in your birth chart about each other. I'm hearing down to the day that you met or meet. Yeah, Ten of Cups. It's all right there. Loving somebody, even when they feel like they don't deserve it, just because they're so used to giving so much more than other people, that when they meet somebody and it's genuinely equal give and take, they feel like they're not putting in as much as they used to. And it feels weird, like they're not doing enough. They're so used to outdoing people that when they can't outdo them, it's like, am I, am I, you know what I'm saying? I'm struggling to find the words. <laughs> but I think, you, yeah, Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. And the Hermit. It's so beautiful. Yeah, the wheel and the two of swords. See, and I think that the Ace of Cups is still at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit. This, you guys, your souls agreed to meet each other and do this. I want to cry. This is so beautiful. This is Dustin. This is Faded. You got both of the cards, the, the minor and the, the minor and the major arcana of Destiny, Fate, written in the stars. Um, so there's absolutely no doubt, especially with the Ten of Cups. 
you know. Um, this could potentially be a twin flame situation. This is very much how they do the dance. And the two of wands here just brings it <laughs> in even um, stronger, right? So this could definitely be a twin flame situation. Um, but this is a very loving, genuine soulmate version of twin flame, not toxic karmic. This person may have caused these kind of pains in a past life, and that's why in this lifetime they're going to make it right, but other people caused it, right? Because the people that do the hurting, they can't do the healing. That's that's not how this works. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Whether you're going through it or your person is going through it, I hope this message made sense and was able to bring you guys some kind of solace and assistance. Um, I've got Sagittarius, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces on the board for you guys. And Virgo with the Hermit coming out. That's that soul energy. Yeah, this is brand new, unlike anything you've had before. The full card, you jump, the universe is going to catch you here. Aries energy with that. Yeah, justice underneath. Libra energy. 11 as well. Wow. Wow. Walking through a brand new door, literally. I'm going to leave it here. I hope this message helps. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Until then, stay beautiful.